guys welcome back to my channel so today we're going to make this cute uh, larvae or cardo blanket elephant blanket so what you're gonna need is you're gonna need two kinds of yarn so I use for my case is the green yarn and the white yarn and also make sure I used a hundred percent cotton yarn because it's it's for the baby it's better like that and also I used a crochet hook which is 4.0 millimeters so let's get started okay so we're going to start with the head uh, and the trunk I mean the trunk and the head together and we're going to start with the magic ring and then six single crochet into the magic ring so we're going to do one two three four five and six okay and then I'm going to close my gap okay after that I'm going to place my marker over here so I like to use this piece of trend as my marker okay so after we're done with that uh, in the second row I'm going to do two single crochet in the next stitch then single crochet in the next and repeat all the way around for a total of nine stitches so I'm going to go in the next stitch and do two single crochets so one two and then I'm going to do single crochet in the next stitch okay and then I'm going to do two single crochet in the next one two okay so you're going to repeat that until the end so you're going to do single crochet two single crochet single crochet and then uh, until you get here at the end okay so after you're done with that uh, in the third row we are going to do single crochet all the way around but in the back loops only so we are going to go in the back loop of the next stitch and do single crochet and then also go in the next back loop do single crochet so repeat that all the way around in the back loops only okay so do your single crochet all the way around until you get here at the end okay so after that uh, in our next row which is our fourth and fifth row we are going to do single crochet all the way around in both rows for a total of nine stitches so you're going to do single crochet single crochet okay you're going to continue doing single crochet in this row until the end and also do single crochet in the next row which is the fifth row for a total of nine stitches each row okay so after you're done with your row five in our row six we are going to do two single crochet in each of the next two stitches so we're going to do two single crochet in this stitch and also we're going to do two single crochet in the next stitch okay and then we're going to do single crochet in the next three stitches so we're going to do single crochet one single crochet two single crochet three okay and then after that uh, we're going to do single crochet two together that is a decrease okay so you're going to go in the front loop of the next stitch pull through and go in the front loop of the next stitch pull through and then pull through all the three loops together okay and then after that in the remaining two stitches we're going to do single crochet in each stitch okay so now we have a total of 10 stitches okay so after that we're going to go to the next row okay and in the next row we are going to do two single crochet in the first two stitches so we're going to do two single crochet in the first one 
and then to single crochet in the next stitch Okay, and then after that we're going to do single crochet in the next two stitches so you're going to do single crochet and single crochet okay and then after that uh, we're going to decrease in the next two stitches so you're going to go in the first front loop of the next stitch and front loop of the next stitch and pull through and then we're going to decrease again one more time so you're going to do two stitches together the same way so decrease okay and then after that we're going to do single crochet in each of the remaining two stitches so you're going to do single crochet and single crochet okay so after that, now we have a total of 10 stitches. So after that, uh, in our next row, we are going to do single crochet all the way around until the end. So you're going to do single crochet, single crochet. Okay, so continue with the single crochet until you get here at the end. Okay, so after you're done with that, uh, in our next row, which is our row nine, Okay, we are going to repeat the same way we did row seven so we're going to do single crochet in the next two stitches i mean two single crochet in each of the next two stitches so we're going to do two single crochet in the next stitch and two single crochet in the next one too okay and then after that we're going to do single crochet in the next two stitches so we're going to do single crochet single crochet one and then again single crochet okay and then after that uh, we're going to do a uh, sing I mean two together in the next two stitches we're going to decrease two times I mean okay so you're going to go in the front loop of the next stitch pull through go in the next front loop pull through and pull through and repeat that again one more time okay so we're going to decrease again okay and then we're going to do single crochet in the remaining two stitches so you're going to do single crochet and single crochet again one more time Okay, so after that uh, we're going to do a single crochet in the in the next round which is row 10 for a total of 10 stitches so you're going to do single crochet single crochet single crochet okay so do your single crochet all the way around until here at the end okay so in our next row which is row 11 we are going to do the same way as row 7 okay so we're going to do two single crochet in the first two stitches so we're going to increase in the first two stitches so do two single crochet and also two single crochet in the next stitch okay so after that you're going to do single crochet in the next two stitches so single crochet single crochet Okay, and then after that you're going to decrease two times so you're going to go in the first loop pull through go in the next loop pull through and pull through all them together okay and then decrease one more time so we'll do the same thing okay and then after that you're going to do single crochet in the remaining two stitches single crochet so you have a total of 10 stitches okay so you're going to repeat the same uh, the same way we did as the previous row in the next row which is our lower in our row 12 
so repeat the same thing as row 11 so i'll see you when you're done with your 12th row so that i show you how to do the 13th row okay so after you're done with your 12th row make sure you stuff your nose completely or your trunk completely so now we're going to start in the 13th row and in the 13th row we are going to do two single crochet in each stitch all the way around for a total of 20 stitches so we're going to do two single crochet in the first stitch say do two single crochet again in the next stitch okay two single crochet again Okay, so do two single crochet all the way around until here at the end okay so after that uh in our next row which is our 14th row we're going to do two single crochet in the next stitch then single crochet in the next and repeat all the way around until the end for a total of 30 stitches so you're going to do single crochet one and also do two, uh, another single crochet in the same stitch and then do single crochet in the next one okay so repeat again so increase in the next stitch and then single crochet in the next then increase in the next single crochet increase single crochet and repeat all the way around until the end for a total of 30 stitches okay so after that in our next row which is our 15th row we are going to start by doing single crochet in the next five stitches so we're going to do single crochet one two three four five okay and then after that we're going to do two single crochet in the next stitch and single crochet in the next and we're going to repeat that five more times so you're going to do two single crochet and then in the next stitch you're going to do single crochet okay so you're going to repeat that again five more times until you have uh, 13 stitches left okay so you're going to do two single crochet and then single crochet okay so and then you're going to repeat that again another four times okay so after you're done with that now you have 13 stitches left so make sure you have 13 stitches left over here okay so and then after you have the in the 13 stitches you're going to do single crochet all the way around until here and we have we're going to have a total of 36 stitches in this row so you're going to do single crochet single crochet single crochet okay and repeat that all the way around until here at the end okay so after you're done with that uh in the next five rows which is from row 16 until row 20 you're going to do single crochet all the way around in each row for a total of 36 stitches in each row so i'll see you when you're done with your 20th row so that i show you how to do the 21st row okay so after you're done with your 20th row this is how our elephant looks like and i already put my safety eyes between row 14 and 15 so you can do the same okay so after that we're going to continue to row uh 21st and in the 21st row we're going to do to start decreasing so we're going to decrease in the first two stitches first so you're going to go in the front loop of both the next two stitches and pull through Okay, and then we're going to do single crochet in the next four stitches so we're going to do single crochet one two three four and then you're going to decrease again okay and then you're going to do single crochet in the next four stitches and then you're going to repeat the pattern all the way around until the end 
for a total of 30 stitches okay so after you've done with that in our next row which is our 22nd row we're going to start by decreasing and then do single crochet in the next three stitches and repeat that pattern all the way around for a total of 24 stitches so we're going to decrease in the first two stitches and then do three single crochets so one two three and then decrease again okay and then you're going again to do three single crochet decrease three single crochet all the way around until the end Okay, so after you are done with that uh, in our next row we're going to do single crochet in the next two I mean we're going to decrease first and then do single crochet in the next two stitches and repeat the pattern all the way around for a total of 18 stitches so we're going to decrease first and then do single crochet in the next two stitches so you're going to do single crochet one single crochet two and then you're going to decrease again okay and then you're going again to continue the pattern to two single crochet decrease two single crochet all the way around until the end okay so after you're done with that uh in our next row which is our 24th row we're going to start by decreasing then single crochet decrease single crochet decrease all the way around until the end for a total of 12 stitches so we're going to decrease then do single crochet and then decrease again in the next stitch decrease And then do single crochet in the next okay so repeat the pattern all the way around until here at the end okay so after you're done with this row uh, in the next row uh, you should fill your head first completely so after you're done filling your head in the last row which is the next row you're going to decrease all the way around until the end for a total of six stitches so after you're done with that i'll show you how to make the arms okay so for the arms we're going to start with the magic ring and then we're going to do six single crochet into the magic ring so we're going to do one two three four five and six going to pull my yarn and place my marker over here Okay, so after that, uh, in the second row, we're going to do two single crochet in each stitch all the way around for a total of 12 stitches. Okay, so we're going to do two single crochet in the first one, two single crochet in the next stitch. Okay, so you're going to increase all the way around until here at the end okay so after that uh, in our next row which is our third row we're going to do two single crochet in the next stitch then single crochet in the next and repeat all the way around until the end for a total of 18 stitches so we're going to do two single crochet in the first stitch then single crochet in the next stitch then two single crochet in the next and then single crochet in the next one 
okay so you're going to repeat the pattern all the way around until here at the end for a total of 18 stitches okay so after you're done with that uh in the next six rows we're going to do single crochet in each row which is row, for, row four until row nine so we're going to have a total of 18 stitches in each row so i'll see you when you're done with your ninth row so that i show you how to do the tenth row okay so after you're done with your ninth row we're going to start to the tenth row and in the tenth row we are going to start by decreasing and then we'll do single crochet in the next four stitches and repeat the pattern all the way around for a total of 15 stitches so we're going to decrease first and then uh, we're going to do single crochet in the next four stitches so we're going to do single crochet one two three four okay and then you're going to repeat the same pattern again so decrease and then do single crochet in the next four stitches and repeat all the way around until here at the end okay so after you're done with that uh in our next row we're going to do single crochet all the way around until the end for a total of uh, 15 stitches in that row so you're going to do single crochet single crochet okay and repeat this all the way around until the end okay so after you're done with that uh, in our 12th row we're going to start by decreasing then we do single crochet in the next three stitches and repeat that six times for a total of 12 stitches so we're going to decrease first and then we're going to do single crochet in the next three stitches so one two three okay so you're going to repeat that again decrease single crochet in the next three stitches all the way around until here at the end so after you're done with that uh in the next six rows you're going to do single crochet all the way around in each row which is from row 13 until row 18 for a total of 12 stitches in each row so when you're done with 18th row please cut your yarn and weave at the ends so make sure you leave a tail long enough for sewing and then i'll show you how to make the ears for the ears we're going to start with the magic ring And then we're going to do six single crochets into the magic ring okay so we're going to do one two three four five and six put put my marker over here okay so after that uh, in our second row we're going to increase each and every stitch all the way around for a total of 12 uh, single crochets or 12 stitches so you're going to do two single crochet in the first stitch and then do another two single crochet okay so you're going to continue increasing all the way around until here at the end okay so after that uh in our third row we're going to do single crochet increase single crochet increase all the way around until the end for a total of 18 stitches so we're going to do single crochet then increase in the next stitch so you're going to do two single crochet in the same stitch and then you're going to do single crochet and then increase in the next stitch okay so you're going to repeat the same pattern all the way around until here at the end okay so after you're done with that uh in our next row which is our fourth row we are going to do 
half double crochet in the next two stitches and then two half double crochet in the next and repeat all the way around until the end for a total of 24 stitches okay so we're going to do half double crochet in the first stitch okay and then again half double crochet in the next stitch and then we're going to do two half double crochet in the same in the next stitch so you're going to do half double crochet and another half double crochet in the same stitch so we're going to repeat that again so one half double crochet in the next one half double crochet in the other one and then two half double crochet in the next stitch Okay, so you're going to repeat that pattern all the way around until the end. So you're going to do half double crochet, half double crochet, two half double crochet, and repeat that all the way around until here at the end. Okay, so after you're done with that, uh, in our next row, which is our fifth row, we're going to do half double crochet in the next three stitches, and then two half double crochet in the next stitch, and repeat all the way around until the end for a total of 30 stitches okay so we're going to do half double crochet in the first stitch half double crochet in the second stitch half double crochet in the third stitch and then two half double crochet in the next stitch so you're going to do one half double crochet and do another half double crochet in the same stitch Okay, so you're going to repeat that again so three half double crochet and then two half double crochet in the next stitch and repeat all the way around until here at the end okay so after you're done with that uh in our sixth row which is our last row we are going to do uh to start doing a chain two so you're going to do one two and then we are going to do a single crochet in the next stitch so you're going to do a single crochet okay and then you're going to repeat that again so chain two and then single crochet in the next stitch so repeat that again all the way around until the end so chain two single crochet chain two single crochet okay so repeat that all the way around until here at the end so when you're done with that i'll show you how to do the blanket okay so now i'll show you how to make the blanket so the blanket is made up of nine granny squares so i'll show you how to make one of the squares then you can make the rest so we start first with the magic ring this and for the magic ring Okay, so after you do the magic ring, we're going to do single crochet first into the ring and then we're going to do a chain two. Okay, so after you're done with that, uh, we're going to do three double crochets. So you're going to do one double crochet, do another double crochet, so two. And three double crochets okay and then we're going to do a treble crochet into the ring again so you're going to yarn over two times and then you're going to go into the ring and then pull two stitches add two loops and then pull the other two loops and pull the remaining two loops Okay, so that we form one treble okay so we're going to repeat that again uh, two more times so we're going to do three double crochets again so one double crochet two double crochets and three double crochets and then we're going to do another treble
okay and then we're going to repeat one more time so we're going to do three double crochets again so one double crochet two double crochet and three double crochet and then another treble crochet into the magic ring again okay so after you're done with that uh we're going to do three double crochets again into the magic ring so you're going to do one double crochet two double crochet and another one the last one three double crochet okay so after that i'm going to pull to close my magic ring and then i'm going to slip stitch here at the top part at the beginning of the of the stitch that we did first so i'm just going to slip stitch over there okay so after you're done with that we're going to go to the second round okay so in our second round in the uh we're going to start in the stitch that we slip stitched so the same stitch so we're going to do again single crochet in the same uh, joining stitch we're going to do single crochet and then do a chain two okay and then also in the same stitch we're going to do two double crochet so you're going to do one so we're going to do two double crochet so one and another double crochet into the same stitch Okay, so after that you're going to do a uh, double crochet in the next three stitches so you're going to do double crochet one two and three okay so here we're going now to form our corner so at the corner we're going to do Two double crochet in the same stitch so you're going to do one and another double crochet so two double crochet okay and then in the same stitch we're going to do a treble crochet so you're going to yarn over two times and do a treble crochet And repeat uh, and again do two double crochet into the same stitch so one double crochet and another double crochet okay so you have to be very careful when you're forming the corners because that's the same you're going to do here and here so the corner is two double crochet then treble crochet and then again two double crochet so that is our corner so again you're going to repeat the same pattern from here so you're going to do a, a double crochet in the next three stitches and then form another corner the same as here and then you're going to repeat again a double crochet in the next three stitches and do another corner the same way we did here and then you're going to do again three double crochet until here and then i'll show you how to finish up at the end so after you get here at the end where we started we are going to do two double crochet in the beginning treble so in the same as is the same stitch as the beginning treble we're going to do two double crochet so you're going to do one and another double crochet in the same stitch okay so after you're done with that uh we're going to slip stitch here at the top of the uh beginning treble so we're going to slip stitch at the top okay so there we have our first square okay so now in our third row or in our row three 
we are going to start again in the same stitch that we slip stitched so you're going to do a single crochet and then do a chain two and then you're going to do two double crochet in the same stitch so you're going to do one double crochet and then another double crochet in the same stitch so two okay so and then you're going to do double crochet in the next seven stitches so you're going to do double crochet one two three four five six and seven Okay, so after you're done with your seven uh, double crochets, we are going to form uh, the corner in our second round. And in the corner, we're going to do two double crochet first. So you're going to do one, then another double crochet, two. Okay, and then we're going to do a treble stitch. We're going to do a treble stitch. Okay, and then you're going again to do in the same stitch two double crochets again. So you're going to do one and two. Okay, so you're going to repeat uh, the same pattern again. So you're going to do a uh, double crochet in the next seven stitches. And then form another corner same way as this and repeat again so say uh, double crochet in the next seven stitches and then do form another corner over here and then you do again seven uh, double crochet in the next seven stitches and then I'll show you how to finish up over here so you have a total of 44 double crochets in this round Okay, so after you get to the end, we are going to do two double crochet in the same stitch as the beginning treble. So same as the previous uh, row. So you're going to do one and another one, two double crochets. Okay, so and then after that we're going to join here at the top of the beginning treble with a slip stitch okay so that's that we have formed our second i mean our next part of the square <coughs> so after that uh in our fourth row we are going to start with a slip in the same stitch that we joined in so you're going to do a single crochet Okay, and then you're going to do a chain one and then after that you're going to do a chain three again one two three and then after that we're going to do a double crochet in the same stitch so you're going to go do a double crochet okay so and then in the next row we're going to do I mean in the next stitch we're going to start with a chain one and then we're going to do double crochet in the next stitch going to do double crochet okay after that we're going to skip the next stitch and then we're going to do uh, we're going to skip the next stitch and then we're going to start doing a double crochet in the next stitch okay so you're going to do a chain one again and then do a double crochet after skipping one stitch Okay, so after that, we're going to repeat again until the end. So do a chain one, skip the next stitch, and then do a double crochet in the next stitch. Okay, repeat that again. Chain one, skip one stitch, and then do a double crochet in the next one. 
you're going to repeat that again chain one skip the next stitch do double crochet and then chain one again do a double uh, skip one stitch and then do a double crochet in the next stitch so after we get to the corner here we're going to form another corner so you're going to do a chain one and then uh, in the corner stitch in the corner chain you're going to do a double crochet okay and then a chain three so you're going to do one two three and then do another double crochet in the same stitch okay so after that we're going to go into the next stitch and then we're going to do a chain one and double crochet in the next stitch over here and then you're going to do a chain one skip the next stitch do a double crochet in the next stitch then do a chain one skip the next stitch do a double crochet in the next one so you're going to repeat the same pattern all around when you get to the corner do the same way that we did over here we formed this other corner and also repeat the same pattern until over here and then same way until you get here at the beginning and then i'll show you how to do the last part okay so after you get at the end of that of this row we are going to slip stitch here at the beginning of the first double crochet so we're just going to do a slip stitch and then we're going to start our fifth round and in our fifth round we are going to start in the same stitch that we slip stitched so you're going to do a single crochet first and then after you do a single crochet we're going to do a chain one and then we're going to do a double crochet in the same stitch that we slip stitch we're going to do double crochet and then after that uh, we're going to do a treble crochet in the same stitch so you're going to form a treble crochet like that okay and then in the same stitch we'll do other two double crochets so you go one double crochet and do another double crochet the same stitch okay so after you're done with that uh, we're going to do a double crochet in all the double crochet chains until we reach here at the corner so you're going to do double crochet in the next chain in all the chain across I'm going to go to in the next chain and do a double crochet so you do again in the other chain do a double crochet okay so continue doing double crochet in all the chains across okay so until you get here at the corner so when you get here at the corner I'll show you how to form uh, the corner here at the end
Okay, so after you get here at the corner to form the uh, our corner for this row, we are going to do two double crochet in the next chain. So you're going to do double crochet one, then another double crochet two. Okay, and then in the same chain, we are going to do a treble crochet. <coughs> okay, and in the same chain, we are going to do other two double crochet. So you're going to do double crochet one and another double crochet two. Okay, so there you have it. We have formed our corner. So then we're going to do, do to continue doing our double crochets all the way uh, around in the chains around. So you're going to continue doing your double crochets. A little bit tight. <coughs> going to do it double crochet. Okay, so continue doing again other double crochets all the way around until the end. Double crochet. Okay, so you're going to continue like that. So do other double crochet, double crochet. And when you get here at the corner, you're going to form another corner the same way that we did like this continue again and repeat the same corner over here and continue with your double crochets until you get here at the end and then I'll show you how to join the two parts together okay so after we get here at the end we are going to join with a slip stitch at the beginning of the double crochet so we're going to come here and do a slip stitch Okay, and then after you're done with that, uh, now we're going to do our last row, which is our row six. Okay, so in our six rows, uh, we're going to start with a single crochet. We're going to do actually single crochet all the way around, uh, except for the corners. And we're going to start by forming our first corner here at the beginning. So we're going to do five single crochet in all the corners so you're going to do one two three four five okay so that is our first corner formed then we're going to continue doing single crochet all the way around do single crochet single crochet single crochet single crochet okay so do single crochet all the way when you get here at the corner to the end you're going to do again five single crochet in the same stitch at the corner then you continue doing your single crochet all the way around same thing do five single crochet in the same stitch here at the corner and then you fit when you finish with this row you just cut your yarn and uh, slip stitch at the end and that you'll be done with your square so you have something that looks like this show you on the other side okay so it'll look like this so I formed one two three four five five white squares and then I formed four green squares so after I did all the three of them, what I did is I joined uh, with the wrong side facing each other, two squares, and then I joined with single crochet all the way around until the end. So I wanted you to have this pattern, the bumpy pattern, but if you don't want to do that, you can just slip stitch all the way through or use a, a needle to join the two together according to how you like. And then after that I did uh, the edging and for the edging also it's quite simple so what you do is you start at the end and you do five double crochet in the same stitch and then skip one stitch 
do single crochet in the next stitch and then skip one stitch again and do five double crochet in the next stitch and then repeat that again skip one stitch do one single crochet in the next stitch skip the other stitch and do five uh, double crochet in the next stitch so this one is like it's the shell edging so you can do that all the way around so after you're done with that I'll show you how to join the head the head and uh, the legs and the ears together the body okay so guys uh, for attaching the bodies the parts together so what you do is you fold the ears at the very bottom at the bottom part and then you're going to uh, stitch the two ends together and then I attach them at almost the very end at um, the very end of the head and same thing with the second ear and also for the arms you're going to stitch them first at the bottom of the head so stitch them to the head first and then you're going to stitch them at the very center of the of the square of the blanket so as you can see this is like the very center of the of the blanket that we have so that is where I attach it together so as you can see I did some stitches here at the back to hold the two parts together the head together and that's it so I'm just gonna do the finishing now cutting down the yarns and all that and my blanket will be complete and also because it's for the baby don't forget to use uh, cotton yarn it's I would recommend that and I hope you enjoyed this part and if you haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe I make videos every Saturday and I'll see you next time bye